In addition to esports industry related matters, there are a few topics in esports we would like to discuss. These topics were chosen as they are very timely and come up in different discussions related to esports quite often. Esports is a wide concept and includes a variety of topics that could be discussed for days. For the MOOC, we have chosen three topics to go through. So, in the following videos, we will cover the esports viewership, esports athletes' career, and esports player profiling. Remember that the test at the end of the course will have questions from the subtopics as well. In the esports viewership topic, we tried to identify why people tune in to watch esports and what are the factors that retain them. Esports viewership is a wide concept as watching esports can relate to watching esports tournaments or individual players in their free time. Esports is a lot about content creation and people want to watch the content in many forms. It can be it in the form of tournaments, highlights or let's play videos for example. Now, esports athletes career is an interesting topic. There are many aspiring professionals in the highly competitive esports scene where only the top players can earn substantial income. Esports athletes career has been researched mainly using existing frameworks which have been used to study traditional sports athletes and their career. A proposition proposition okay, that went, that went bad, okay, but but a propositional Framework was created by Marcus Salo in 2017 by taking the elements from career progress stages and introduced by various researchers and combining it with career narratives by Carlos and Douglas. More about that as we go through the topic itself. The player profiling also relates to different stages in the game. However, these stages are more related to emotions. In competitive esports games, the players enjoy, struggle, achieve, slump, and reform. Personally, I argue that as esports is not very physical, the mental aspect grows in importance. Derived from this, I state that people with stronger mentality have a higher chance to succeed in esports. Mental capabilities can be enhanced by playing and having this conscious control of emotions. It is not always easy, and even the best players get frustrated sometimes. Optimal performance, certain mental skills, and taking down mental barriers are discussed in this topic. 